First up tonight is a Devon-based entrepreneur. <sighs> Thank you. Hi, I'm Siobhan Miller. I am a mum to three boys. I'm a fan of When it comes to business, resting on her laurels is not part of Siobhan's vocabulary. Thank you. It's definitely not been easy. I've made a lot of sacrifices, mainly sleep, <laughs> social time, time with my family. For many years, it's just been myself working day and night to, to make the business what it is today. Make your birth better. We were just talking about this over lunch. Were we? We were. I think you just stepped out for a Did moment. I just go completely <laughs> glazed. <laughs> Will the entrepreneur's pitch hold the dragon's attention more than Sarah's lunchtime table talk? Hi, dragons. I'm Siobhan Miller. I'm the founder of the Positive Birth Company. I'm a mum of three and I am on a mission to make antenatal and postnatal education and support more accessible for everyone. Better education and better support reduces the risk of intervention, reduces the risk of postnatal depression, and saves the NHS money. I started teaching hypnobirthing in 2016, and it's fair to say I've worked tirelessly ever since alongside raising my children to grow the business to what it is today. Alongside offering group classes and private one-to-one -one coaching, we are home to the multi-award winning digital pack, the world's most affordable, accessible and fully comprehensive online hypnobirthing program. And we're the creators of Freya, the world's first hypnobirthing friendly virtual birth partner app. Freya will coach you through every single contraction that you experience with a simple breathing technique and help you to relax in between with a mix of positive affirmations and calming visualizations. In the last year, our turnover has been in excess of one million pounds with a gross profit of over 95% and a net profit of approximately 75%. I'm here today to ask for an investment of £136,000 in exchange for 1% equity in the business. Thank you. Hypnobirthing courses and support is the prospect on offer from Siobhan Miller. She's asking for £136,000 in exchange for just 1% of her company. Sarah Davies is first to examine the business opportunity. Hi, I'm Sarah. Hi, Sarah. So I'm really keen to know a little bit more about, you know, a million turnover is a pretty impressive place to get the business to. What's that journey been? How long have you been working towards this? I suppose it started, I became a mum when I was 21, but my birth was really traumatic. So that sort of left me with um, a lot of postnatal anxiety. So then seven years later, when I was pregnant with my second son, I discovered hypnobirthing and it just changed everything for me. I went on to give birth at home on the sofa and I felt like an absolute hero. And wow. I just thought, this is what I want to do. I want every woman to feel like this. And then in 2017, I made a whole series of free videos. I put those up on YouTube. They've been watched hundreds and hundreds of thousands of times. Um, then I went on to develop the online course, which we launched in March 2018. And it yeah, really quickly took off. So last year, your turnover was a million. And so do you still own 100% of the company? I do, yes. Well, honestly, you've blown me away. That, that's super impressive. Thank you. Soaring sales for a relatively infant business have clearly impressed Zara Davies. And it looks like Tej Lalvani is in harmony with the entrepreneur. You probably know that uh, pregnancy health is a specialist area of interest for me. Um, so it all sounds interesting, and I'd love to understand how you make money. Um, so the app is two ninety nine. Currently, we have around six thousand people download every single month, but okay. the app only represents nine percent of our revenue. The majority of it, seventy six percent of our sales mix, is from the digital pack. And how much do you sell that course? For? Thirty nine pounds. It gives you a year's access to the course. So look, the the digital pack sounds interesting, but the other thing that's definitely caught my interest is your valuation. Yes. It's over thirteen million pounds. Thirteen point six million. I know your eyebrows will be raised. They are but, definitely being raised. Yeah. So how did you get to that valuation? Well, you'll be pleased that it wasn't me that carried out the sums. <laughs> I have an accountant, and it was a team of accountants worked on the valuation over several weeks. And what they've done is work it down to the net profit, what will be left in the bank for the next five years, and extending for the timeline of the business. Yeah. 
So I think this is where businesses probably make quite a big mistake when they use advisors. It's not just about the financial results of that business. They've forgotten about the very thing that's the most important. You are the business. If you're not there anymore, the company's gone. Right. So what happens? Hopefully I don't go anywhere. <laughs> No, no, no. Hopefully but you're... nothing happens to me. No, and I I've absolutely hope nothing happens, but you take you out of this business, there's nothing left because you have no ownership structure, you have nothing in place. Oh, you mean like I'm not replaceable in the business? Well, you're not. You've generated all of this. So, sadly, if something happens to yeah. you, this business is in dire straits. Siobhan is snapped back to reality as Peter Jones expresses concern over the viability of her venture's valuation. But Deborah Meaden has some positive affirmations that may restore the entrepreneur's sense of serenity. I love it when somebody just does the thing that they want to do well, and as the outcome of that, you make money. I love my job. Like, I literally love my I job. I can see. It's not my thing. No. I haven't even got children. Yeah. You know, so it feels a little not authentic... Yeah. ..for me to get involved in a business that is deeply authentic. You know, it would feel like I was just, just doing it for the money. It would almost detract from the, the thing that I think you are trying to achieve. So I, I won't be vesting. I'm out. Deborah Meaden feels her participation would prevent the project from being the real McCoy and stands down from the deal. And it seems that Peter Jones has also made up his mind. I have an issue with the business in terms of the valuation. You've come in so high, like the highest valuation we've probably ever had in the den. I'm not over the line with it. OK. So, sadly, I'm going to say I'm out. You know, I, when I was pregnant, I, I bought a hypnobirthing book. Oh, yeah? And, and I, I loved the thought of it. And then I was high risk with both my pregnancies. And so I had to go onto a high dependency ward and go through a controlled labour. And, and I always resented those people who got to do the thing that I wanted to do that yeah. I kind of had taken away from me. So I've always shut out this whole hypnobirthing thing. OK. Um, however, you are brilliant. So for all I decided right at the beginning, yeah. this was for those airy fairy people and You're not, not alone in thinking that. You know, so many people write off hypnobirthing because they mm -hmm. think it's for hippies and that, and they think <laughs> it's just for those people giving birth at home. Mm -hmm. you know? The skill you need to learn is when somebody's on a positive roll and everything's just let me go. going really, Sorry. really well, <laughs> I would let it roll. Sorry. Um, Sorry. For all the reasons I explained, Sorry. I'd like to make you an offer. Oh, thank you. So I will offer you all of the money for 7%. Thank you. At last, an offer from a dragon, albeit at seven times the equity Siobhan was hoping to give away. Tejal Alvani already has a hand in the antenatal arena. Will he be interested in a potential partnership with the positive birthing guru? So, look, I think, you know, you've done very well. In terms of where I'm coming from, I think there are a lot of synergies, and it just sits exactly where, where I am in terms of my business. So I'm going to make you an offer. Um, I'm going to offer all of the money, but I'd want 10% of your business. Siobhan, um, you know I'm in the baby business. Yes. Um, I'm looking at this and saying, well, if I, if I were to invest, what could I bring to the party? Yeah. Retailers, tick. Product development, tick. I tick all the boxes. I think... I, I, I would give you all of the money. God, God it's happening. You're going to cry. <laughs> you, you know I feel what, a bit emotional. You, you, know, you know what I want yet. It's definitely not 1%. I can't believe this happening. You know? Um, I would give you all of the money, but I want 10%. Okay. And if Tej wanted to share, I would be interested. 
I, I'm open to sharing with Tuka. He does add a lot of value in other areas and we've got uh, investments in, in the baby space as well together. A deal is within touching distance for Siobhan as baby business bigwigs Tej Lalvani and Tuka Suleiman combine with an offer of 10% split between them. Siobhan, I think the time is to go and practice those hypnobirthing breathing techniques at the back of the den. I'll, I'll do just that. Thank you. Also on the table is a more competitive ask of 7% from Sarah Davies. However, both bids are way wide of the 1% Siobhan originally presented. Will the hypnobirth expert be able to stay calm and focus on brokering a better deal? I mean, thank you like, for, for the offers, obviously. 10% or even 7%, but 10%, um, that's very steep um, amount of equity for the value of the business. Um, so I wondered if there was a room for negotiation there on that. Um, what I might be prepared to do is if I got my money back in 18 months, drop the equity down to 7%, provided Tuka is willing to drop as well. Well, well I, I, I would match that. So it's 5% each, falling down to 3.5% each when we get our money back. This is difficult. Would you do the falling instead of 3.5%, 3% each, so that it would be ending up owning 6% of the business? Um, I'll say yes. Yes, yeah, smile. Um, yes, I'll agree to that. So I think I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry. Like, I know you'd be a massive asset, but I think I'll go with Taj and 2K. That's a yes. Great. Excellent. Thank you. A win for Siobhan, but there's still one small matter to clear up. Just to let you know, your business partners are Tej and Tuka. Sorry, <laughs> what am I saying? Taj, Taj, Taj and hey. Tuka. <laughs> I'm really sorry. And with that resolved, the entrepreneur leaves the den with two well-connected dragons for the price of one. Oh my God, I can't believe it. To come out with Tej and Tuka, who both have experience in the industry, it's beyond what I was dreaming. So it's, yeah, it's amazing. This is all about Taj and Tuke. <laughs> <laughs> yes.